get ill, we need to stop, and we cannot continue. And thanks to that, we don't make it worse. Because that, that period of time of recovery is a full cycle of recovery inside the body. Sometimes some people immediately take uh, painkillers or medicines, which I'm not going to say that this is good or it's bad, because it's a judgment. And it depends on the person, whatever I want to. But without uh, taking consideration the root cause of the problem, there is no moving forward. We don't get ill just for the, ah, we got ill and that's it, that's what there is. There is much more than that. There is a deeper reason of why we are not feeling our best. And all of this uh, comes back into vitality, a lack of vitality that is a lack of life force. And this reflects a lot as well. If you observe yourself, the way you wake up in the morning, do you feel tired or do you feel full of energy? And then, OK, you have a coffee and you get the energy from the coffee. But this like continu continuously, if sleeping at night is not enough. So uh, this is, again, it's like um, burning out the body. Another case, it could be uh, being unable to wake up because of feeling very tired. And there might be a symptom of depression behind. Depression of um, a lack of wanting to be alive. That happens very often as well to many people. Lack of wanting of being alive, to be alive because uh, not living one's purpose. Not being happy with life. It reflects a lot in people in their job that they are not happy, or people that they get married and they have kids and then they, they feel depressed as well because they think that they are not on their purpose, that they are missing something. There are so many cases as people on planet Earth. But if we wake up every morning full of energy and vitality to start our day and to be happy, do you remember the last time you had that? Yeah, because we wake up and we go into the program again. The program of doing something that doesn't excite us as much as when we were small. And we wake up and we go to play. So what is the fun of living? Why are we here? When we are experiencing a lack of vitality in the morning, this is a sign that we are not on our purpose. And life is not moving us inside. We are not doing what we really enjoy. And we might think that we know what we like, but if we know what we like and we don't do it, what is the problem here? It's not about not knowing. It's about being conditioned by the mind. It's about having self-imposed beliefs and conditions to be on a certain way in order to be accepted in society. But which kind of society is that? That we need to be lack of energy in order to fit. So what is the energy? Here the problem starts, outside. <laughs> when we think this way, we think that the energy source comes from outside in form of people, that we need other people in order for us to feel good. This is a very big example in relationships. Imagine how many couples they are feeling so sad when they split up because they think that the source of love is gone. This is one example of energy exchange, the energy that keeps you alive. So we rely on energy from the outside. In this case, if this is the case, and you are not getting your source of energy, you get empty, and if you are empty and you need energy from the outside, the outside does not need you because you are empty. But when you are full of energy and full of life, the outside world wants you and they hire you for jobs and they want to be with you. Probably they, don't, they are empty or probably they are not. There are a lot of cases, but whatever is the case, it's good to observe the way you feel when you wake up, and the way you feel during the, your day as well, if uh, your energy moves up and down, 
and not just your physical energy, like energy to exercise or to focus with your mind, but also your mood. How is your mood during the day? Do you experience swings or is it stable? Sometimes your mood is more stable than others. You might experience sometimes that your mood is better when things go better, or your mood might be a bit low when you are experiencing a bit of a disaster, or so maybe sometimes there are changes. When there are big changes constantly in the same day, there is a um, hormonal imbalance involved. And this imbalance, it comes from your mind, from your thoughts, having different uh, opinions, for example, having um, conflicting thoughts. This is an inner battle inside our mind. And this inner battle creates a reality that is not um, as positive as we would like to be. So if you are experiencing anything of this, it's very important to, to focus in what is going on instead of blaming the outside conditions or, or reality or other people. And number one is to take responsibility for your own creation, knowing that your reality is a reflection of your inner state of being. And if your reality is not um, as you would like it to be, it's because you are being lack of control. And controlling the outside world is um, exhausting. There are so many people who try to control the outside world, and this goes nowhere and it causes suffering. But I'm talking about your ability to have inner control. This inner control, I call it autonomy. Autonomy to be able to control your state of being, whatever the circumstances you are in. With this inner control, you can gain insight of your life's problems, understand them better, and get your own answers. The answers that are the solutions to your own problems. And not just your own problems, but the outside world as well. To have the answer of the outside world problems inside you. This does not mean that once you get an answer from a problem from someone else, you go and tell the person the, the solution and the problem is going to be sorted out. It's not. Sometimes you might get the answer for someone else, but if the person is not ready to understand it, it's not going to work. But the reason why you get the answer is because it's not about the other person, but it's about you. It's because what we see outside, we have it inside, but we might not uh, see it from a period of time until we jump we jump from this perspective of this lifetime into a higher perspective where we can see that everyone in our life is one person. And this one person is you all the time. And when you understand this, you can see how people change when you change inside. And this does not mean that you make changes and then you expect other people to change because you make a change. It's not that is that when you make a change, you can see that, again, everything outside your reality still matches with you because the change you make is very, very, very tiny compared with the size of all humanity because we cannot change the entire humanity in one go by changing oneself. But the little thing that we can do for us is all that matters. This is why it's so important to do things for yourself before doing it for other people. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Because it would be like um, trying to do something for another person. And from another perspective is taking away the other, the other person free will. Because the other person might choose to change or not. But when you do the things for yourself, for your highest, highest, highest good of everything, at the same time, you are helping everyone because it will help everyone at the same time. 
And sometimes it might look like it's not good for someone, but that thing, probably, it's because that person wanted something from you that cannot get. And by you trying to give that to that person, you're not fulfilling a dream. It was the illusion of the mind. So that's why it's so important to take responsibility for oneself first of everything, knowing the reason why we are feeling any particular way and take care of our own vitality because this vitality is what is going to give life to everything in our life. And this will support you and not just you, but everyone else around you. I'm going to do um, a guided meditation yeah, for you to find your point and see things internally from your point, so it will be much easier. So make Thank sure that you are sitting down comfortable. And close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. With your back straight upwards. Breathe in and breathe out, releasing all the tension from your mind while you are breathing. You keep relaxing the muscles of your face. and relax the muscles of your head. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. And relax your arms. Your back is straight upwards. And your muscles are very relaxed. your shoulders, your chest, your abdomen are very relaxed. Your hips are sustaining your body and your legs are very relaxed and connecting you to the ground, you can feel your feet very relaxed, grounding you, and this energy goes downwards to planet Earth, connecting to its nucleus and coming back to you feeling your entire body and going up from the top of your head. This energy goes up, leaving this room space and goes up, leaving this building and reaching the sky and going up in the solar system. Keep going up outside of the galaxy and keep going up
about the universe and keep going up. Now you are entering your sacred space of light. Is a higher version of you. This light is connected to you from the top of your head. And this light above the universe is all around the universe, is everywhere, is expansive and feels safe. You are safe, connected to the light. You are experiencing yourself from a higher perspective. And you are going to vitalize your life from the light with this energy you experience yourself full of life you have everything you need everything is inside the universe, the light in you. You have the tools you need to live the way you like. It's a choice, a matter of light. This light brings you joy to fulfill your dreams. This light has the energy that you need coming from you. All the time, placing yourself in the middle of your body. Seeing the outside world reflecting you, your mind, your mind is a program and the program is changing with your light. Solving problems in your mind filling with light the obstacles in your life. Keep feeling with light 
the obstacles in your life until you feel complete. Let the light support you in your life. Let the light be with you all the time. Be alive. Fill yourself with this light. Recover your truth. your intuition claim yourself to be back inside your body fully present aware clear with understanding with life be with yourself one more time being inside your body, fully present, understanding your bigger picture of your life. And from here, you are going to see the future. the future of your life. If you continue like this, alive, grounded with light. Observe this future coming to you. Be shown in front of you now, what you see that is being shown to you accept it because there is more to see There is more future for you to experience. Use your light coming from inside you. 
feel your future. Bring your future to you. Empowering. Having a higher perspective. A deeper understanding. A deeper control of yourself. And use this energy, all the energy that you have got, to waste. Imagine in your mind that you use all your energy and is to be used to spend it in what you like. This energy is limited. Because of time. So, you have to decide what you do with your energy. Now, imagine that all this energy, instead of being used, now all this energy you invest in what you want, in what you like. Observe your investment in energy in your life now you can see both sides of your energy What you use it for, when you use it. And now, what you invest. Your energy. How do you feel about it? What do you feel inside that is right for your energy to be focused on? What is the best choice you can make? to draw your energy.
and how does this make you feel? This is your life, your intention behind, in alignment with your highest purpose, brings you back in your center. Where you can see the best choice to make with your energy. How does this benefit you? How does this serve others? using your energy. With your highest choice. And this energy is being supplied from your life as you flow, as you are one with it, as you are on purpose, and you allow life brings you light the best approach in your mind. Your heart feel light. You have the truth inside And you allow your life sustain you. Full of energy. To enjoy your life. And slowly being present inside your body, focus on your breathing. And you remember what you have seen in meditation. You remember and know how you apply this in your life. You have a clear mind. the next days, 
how do they look like your next years, your life with you inside your body being central you know how to approach your life to be in control of your inner self to make the changes you desire you remember this Take your time to come back, to open your eyes, and to be relaxed.